<laughs> Hello, it is I, Tiffany, the lesbian straight woman guy, and it's Friday. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Also, this shirt needs to chill out. It keeps trying to go like this. Just, yep, yep. <laughs> no, um, I literally just woke up from being asleep on the floor. I know that's fucking weird, but you know... I got off work. I wanted to keep my headphones on. There's a couch right there. Don't care. One of the floor. So I took a nap on the floor. <sighs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be playing um, Phasmophobia, like always. But I was wondering if I might switch halfway through the stream or partway through the stream or whatever, like an hour in or however it all works out. Um, oh, fuck off. Play. There we go. So I'm launching something else in the background. I want it to download while, oh, oh, there it goes. I was like, there's no way. I haven't updated that game in literally like five years. So anyway, I want this to update in the background Um, while I play Faz. <laughs> Shit, I didn't mute in time. <laughs> I tried. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know if that other game's going to work. I'm totally down to see, um, what all happens with that information, but you know, it works. Um, yeah, I'm just tired. I'm, my brain's not here right now. I'm trying to, to comprehend what year it is even. Not working too well. So let's start Phasmophobia so we can fuck around and find out in that game. Well, that's launching. Let me look up. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Um, I see that game on the side updating, and it's actually not doing a bad job. Uh, which is weird because I'm streaming, so I thought it would have like freaked out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have an account. I already give me just get me to the website. Uh, it's in the player. There we go. Stop being dramatic. Log in. There. No, that's right. There we go. Um, what do you have? Cancel. There we go. No, give certificates. What the fuck? Oh, here's what I want. Click here to learn more. How much? No, I'm distracted. What's this? Wow. 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 Oh, that's right. That comes with the th thing. Oh, right. I totally lost. If that doesn't tell you where my brain's at right now, I don't know what does. Oh, shit. Is it done? Oh, my God. That actually worked really fast. Anyway, Faz, I don't have my boots on. Should I go get the boots? Should I be weird? Should I go get those? Like, really, really fast. Like, I know I just started, but, like, that's also a perfect reason to go and, like, grab them really fast. <laughs> I should. I'm going to go do that. Hold on. It'll, I'll promise it'll take, like, two seconds. I have acquired boots. <laughs> They're nice. Listen, they make me actually sit up properly, so fuck off. Okay, anyway, let's actually go play this game. <clears throat> there we go. Um, so I think back. No, wait, leave. I'm missing a bunch of stuff because I think I died again. Um, let's add. Yeah, see, like, we don't have any head mounted cameras. We don't have any sound sensors. Um, do we even have, we don't have any motion sensors. So what we should do, um, I'm tempted to do this just like a couple times in a row. And I know it's like kind of boring to have me run in there. 
take a photo of one or two different things and then leave but but um this way i can at least get a couple of like the essential things so that i can do like proper runs and stuff um crucifix escape a hunt martin oh christopher martin no christopher christopher um let's go yeah no uh this way i can get like the sound sensors and stuff i don't really care so much about the head mounted camera since i'm gonna be playing by myself but it's nice to have the option um available oh bone now we just need to find the cursed object and then we can leave because yeah there's no way i'm gonna be able to figure out what this ghost is cursed object cursed object no uh oh shit the uh no okay not that either um is it in the basement it's not that oh of course it's the voodoo doll you know out of all the cursed objects i, I hate the voodoo doll the most like, I don't care for the music box, but it's at least, like, somewhat serviceable in a weird sense. Um, like, at least on smaller maps and stuff. But, like, I don't know. The voodoo doll just seems like too much of a risk on small maps. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Because, like, I think the both times that I died yesterday was because of a voodoo doll. Like, I forced the hunt, but if it was a music box, I would have been able to start the hunt, like, somewhere. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just my fault. I don't know. The the voodoo doll just seems like the least interesting out of all of them. Phantom. Uh, well, I guess, I guess, the easiest way to think about this. So, the music box, you have control over when it hunts. Oh, I have a bunch of money anyway. Or even the, like what you call it the um oh like anytime you can force a hunt you have control over that and you can you can adjust accordingly or whatever you want to say um i didn't realize i had that much money so i'm just gonna do normal runs now um but like the voodoo doll i can't be in the room where the stuff is happening because it might start a hunt and it sort of you know fucks with the whole idea of like oh i'm gonna go in here and uh use the voodoo doll to get an interaction or something but like you can't do that because there's like a chance that it's gonna hunt and like tarot cards are kind of the same way but tarot cards are more useful in a in the same way basically but they also do other things whereas the voodoo doll just takes your sanity like realistically there isn't too much oh, i don't have this on realistically there's not a reason to have the voodoo doll over the tarot cards not that you get a choice but like the tarot cards have a chance to give you sanity they have a chance to revive a person they have a chance to kill a person but that's like almost a fun little risk at the same time or whatever you want to say like ooh, i might die but like the voodoo doll just forces a hunt you know it causes the ghost to chuck a couple of objects and then force a hunt and that's it whereas like you know the the um Ouija boy could tell you where the ghost is where the bone is and it can force a hunt the uh summoning circle is good for forcing hunts and oh it's that bathroom is it this bathroom i think it is this bathroom i'm using that too much but the summoning circle is great for taking photos of the ghost and forcing a hunt but like you have control over that if that makes sense where um like the music box it kind of sucks because it does f use all of your sanity and stuff but it's still useful because um 
you can get a photo of the ghost and it's kind of like the the what you call it the um summoning circle where like you know by the time that ends unless you have enough sanity it's probably gonna hunt there's you probably have a hunt that's gonna happen by the end of that was it this bathroom or was it the other bathroom i'm pretty sure it's this bathroom here let's drop this stuff off in here real quick because i'm pretty sure it's this one because this that's open I know I opened that one and that one, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. Then the, uh, like the tarot cards are useful cause they can do other things. The Ouija board can tell you exactly where objects and locations are. The mirror is kind of weird. It tells you, ex it doesn't tell you exactly where the ghost is. It shows you. So it's almost a worse version of the Ouija board. Like, I don't know what I would want for an improvement for that. But it just seems like some of the cursed objects have like a bunch of uses and other ones are like one one singular use type thing or they're not that useful because they are just the one thing. Um, it's kind of weird. I, I either think that they should rework how they some of those work or just add more and take um, so that like, yeah, some of them are stronger and some of them are weaker, but there's like 10 of them. So it doesn't really matter, you know. There's just a bunch of different kinds of cursed objects. Fingerprints? Interaction. Not fingerprints. Interesting. Did I put the thermometer in here? I don't think I even looked. I think it's that bathroom for sure, but I want to double check on fr freezing temp pictures. I wasn't sure what I wanted to play today, but Faz is always a simple, easy, <clears throat> like, starting point and then i can always like switch to games after that i am curious to see if this other game goes well i haven't streamed it in a long time and i don't know if i even want to yet i'm just i'm contemplating the option is it in here seven eight four six i don't i mean i feel like it's in here I don't think the game knows where it's at. So we're just going to wait on that part. Um, let's double check for orbs. Oh, we can't see in there at all. Okay, I don't see any. Oh, it's in this room. It moved. <clears throat> but we have an orb. But no freezing temps. At least not yet. I kind of want to put that like on the wall, maybe. No, maybe I guess the floor. It's just the bed makes it so awkward. Um, grab the book, drop that off, and the crowls. I mean, this is a big enough room that that hopefully should cover most of it. All right, let's shut the door. Shut that door. I'm going to move this a little bit closer to like here, there, actually I should probably put it closer to there. Um, okay. So let's go see. Oh, I'm tired. All right, guys, these two, and then let's double check. Okay. So we do have that for sure and then we'll double check the temp when we get inside because i think it just needs time to warm up where are you i'm behind you Ooh. okay so spirit box and ghost orb so far i'm not checking that ghost orb just yet i want to double check for freezing temps because if it is it's 100 percent it's a mimic oh wait oh wait it can't be because interaction it's an onrio what do these things even do seek revenge strength extinguishing a flame can cause an onrio attack when threatened this ghost will be less likely to hunt Spear box, ghost orbs, freezing time. 
I need the camera. Oh man. I was gonna take a photo of it. Shit. All right. Uh, what do we need to do for our things? Uh, cleanse the area that have a member of your team escape a hunt. Oh shit. Um, I guess we can try the hunt because we can force it with the mirror. Um, shit. Grab this. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm not gonna use those. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> All right, let's grab a camera. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go all the way into the living room. Is this, that is closed. Is this, that is closed. Okay, so I think what I should do is go in here. Okay, let's grab two of these actually. Let's drop one here. And then we'll grab another one from over here. I don't entirely trust hiding there. Hiding there. I've hid there a couple of times, but the couple of times that I did, I fucking died. Because the door moved, so if it does, I just want to have a smudge available. Okay. So, let's take this in here. Drop that there, and let's... I guess we don't even need the mirror. Uh, hello. Oh shit, it worked. Well, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything else. Nice. Oh, damn. It hunted like right as our sanity dropped. I don't need those. Uh, ghost on real. Nice. And that's a three star too. Shit. Okay. I need to get better about the timing of my photos with these ghosts. That's something that I don't actively think about. And I think I should. Two twenty five. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> that was gross. <laughs> what the fuck? How is this? That doesn't. F okay. Listen, I need I need some way to get a hold of somebody who actually works at Pretzel, so I can be like, guys, they have a complaint. <laughs> And they'll be like, what's your complaint? And I'll be like, yes, <laughs> I have a complaint. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do we need now? Cause like we're still low on a lot of stuff. Like we don't have any head mounted cameras. Um, We only have three sanity pills. Like what the fuck? Let's, uh, let's get these up to that and then we'll get salt up. Uh, and I think that's good. <clears throat> Let's go to Ridgeview on Pro Fiacianel. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to get everything back up to five, but if it's something cheap, I'm okay with getting it to ten. Um, I'm gonna try to save like head mounted cameras for absolute last because they are so expensive to purchase. Um, let's grab this and a sound sensor and that. Okay. Get it to walk through salt, blow out a candle, escape a hunt. Jennifer Miller. Jennifer Miller. Oh, where's the power? It's in the garage. Nice. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm curious to see what they do with this game. I talk about this a lot, but I love... <coughs> I love early access games or like games that are still in development because I always love to see, ooh, there are cards. I always love to see how a game develops and what's being worked on and stuff like that. Like for example, uh, Factorio, um, that game, oh, it's an event. 
Oh, fuck. It was the second it stopped. Damn it. All right. I, I want to know. I want to know. I just want to know. Because that was, that was instant. <clears throat> I'm coming back here, but I am, I am pretty sure that that was a mare. Unless it was a mimic. Fuck. What do you mean it was a miling? I thought mares did that. Anyway. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, let's go back to Ridge Review. I s but it like flipped off the light switch the second I turned it on. I thought that that was a mare thing. Maybe it was just a weird, oh. Oops. I forgot to bring stuff. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. But no, uh, Factorio has changed drastically since its um, early release and to the into the void. And same with um, Satisfactory, which I I absolutely love that game. I just cannot for the life of me play it right now. Um, uh. Not because it's a bad game. I have just sort of hit a point where I don't feel that progressing further benefits me in any way <clears throat> because I'm anticipating a lot of changes to the game in the future and they say that they try really really hard not to mess with recipes and stuff because they know that that can really affect how the game like functions obviously but my whole thing is like I I sort of have everything working just enough for it to be okay like there's a lot of stuff that i could do i don't really want to though um like i oh uh <laughs> oh so okay like one thing that i could do is i could go and set up all of the project assembly parts and i could launch the um space elevator for the last time like i could do that I don't really see a need to do that right now. I'm kind of, I kind of like sort of burnt myself out on the game just a little bit uh, with a, the giant project that I currently have, which is trying to get the, uh, what you call it, like the nuclear power processed. I have to finish that before I do anything else. And that's such a huge undertaking in its own that like I don't really want to deal with that right now I know that sounds weird but um I barely have half of that process up and running I think and I still have so much more to do so like the furthest I have right now if I recall is it turns the there it is um it turns the the stuff it turns the waste into the, like the non-fissure, fissile, fissile, whatever, uh, uranium. And then from there, it gets turned into like plutonium pellets. And I think that's as far as it goes. Like I, I'm pretty sure I started the process to get it so that those could be turned into fuel rods. But the process of getting that far is a lot. Uh... Like, I need to, I don't even remember where I'm at with that. But any, anyway, it's like I have worked like thousands of hours and I maybe still have like another 50 or 60 hours worth of work ahead of me. And that's why I just kind of burnt myself out on it. Because I'm like, that's so much. That's already so much more to do. Let's grab this and let's place it over here and then we'll explore this side and we'll come back and check the van if we don't find anything. It's just so much work for 
being able to get rid of the the nuclear stuff and like even and i i try really really hard to have stuff be like almost perfect i hate to have waste uh or to just sink things for the sake of sinking things but like the game's almost the game almost punishes oh i thought it was like the game almost punishes you for doing stuff like that in a weird way like there is a correct way to do certain things but then it clashes really hard with another part and i'm not a huge fan of that because it feels counterintuitive to how the game sort of sets you up in the first place like once you reach a certain point in the game it's like oh well this is a is a one for one and this is a one for one and then you're like okay cool and then you get later on and it's like well this is a one to one to two so for every one you put in you get out two and you're like okay and then it gets even later and it's like well this is a three to five so you need to put in three and you'll get back five and you're like okay um but then at a at a certain point beyond that it just gets weirder and weirder where it's like what do you mean was that upstairs why well, have freezing temps all right, so we have freezing taps as a start. <laughs> I swore that was the right thing. Okay, whatever. Um, and so it gets really heavy into math and you kind of have to do stuff perfectly though with nuclear because you can't throw stuff away at a point. It has to get thrown somewhere or you have to do something with it. Um, you can no longer sink it like you could previously which means you can't have an overflow anywhere and like you can overproduce stuff but then it backs something else up and it gets really weird and it's like yeah you can over and underclock machines but why would i like it feels weird to use that option please please ah it feels weird to use that option because it's not really nest. You are fucking. I. You. <laughs> this fucking ghost. It feels weird to use that option because it's not that it isn't necessary up until this point. It just is sort of weird. I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, you've been able to do that, but it hasn't been necessary. It feels the word that I'm trying to trying to work out. And if you're going to implement those mechanics, that should have been something that was incentivized or encouraged like way earlier on. This is tier seven out of like nine. Uh, that should have been or even tier. Actually, it's tier eight. <laughs> it's tier eight out of nine. They should have really encouraged it more back in like three and four or even maybe five and maybe they do now maybe it's because they've been playing the game since it was released well before it was released um that it just feels like a a weird pain point now smudge stick will have a member escape a hunt so those two go together basically uh i'm gonna take pills and we're gonna go grab some crosses and then we'll come back for these two things. Um, but yeah, no, it just, I don't know. <sighs> I love the game, I'm having fun with it. I just feel like there needs to be more added to it right now for me to really want to go back unless I just sort of get this weird urge to start playing again in the next couple of weeks, which I doubt. I have been getting an itch to go back and play Fallout 76. Not the game I'm gonna play today, Potentially. We'll see. I don't know how I feel. I kind of want to play this other game and see how it goes, but I don't know if I can really stretch that out for two hours. Uh, I used to stream it for 12 plus hours a day, so it's not like that's going to be a problem. Um, who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll see if it goes well. If I hit like a wall, uh, I have a bunch of ways to kind of get around that. So let's see if the ghost is even still in here. What? Is that supposed to be a reflection on the... Hello? It's like, is that... Wait, am I crazy? 
Oh, that's so weird. It looks like there's supposed like that's the reflection, but it doesn't look like a reflection. Like that just straight up looks like that's outside. <laughs> All right, well, nothing here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? How old are you? Oh, it's not picking up my voice. Are you here? Come on. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? How old are you? What do you want? Are you here? Are you friendly? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Oop. Oh, I don't have a camera. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, EMF five. Okay. So we have EMF five and freezing temps. Mm, it's not spirit box, and I no orb. So it's either dots, fingerprints, or ghost writing. Oh god, not ghost writing. <clears throat> That's the one thing that takes forever to get. Maybe I should put put two books down. Let's go check the van for, uh, let's grab this. I don't think it's fingerprints because we already did take a photo of that one. Yeah, no orb. All right, let's go double check. <clears throat> but I used to stream that game for hours and hours and hours. Um, I just don't know if I have the, the ambition to play it. I kind of do right now. Ooh, fingerprints. It's a gin. Okay. Interesting. So that means we have to turn off the breaker to be able to. Worry about it. I don't, I don't know where my brain was going with that sentence. We have to turn off the breaker so we don't die. <coughs> it's one of the only ghosts that can actually turn the breaker on if i recall it can't turn it off but it can turn it on <gasps> oh we gotta go if that bitch hunts when it has its uh ability available that if i recall it gets fast how's my sanity 36 i guess it did do a bunch of events in a row okay so let's grab this and this. Oh shit. Let's um let's go drop this off in here. I'm not sure where I want to hide. I think we might be able to handle hiding behind this door. So let's drop that there. Let's actually put it like here. And let's go grab another one. Um kinda wanna put some candles in here or something. So I can actually see. Because what I want to do is try to use the tarot cards. Maybe we'll go right here. I want to use the tarot cards to see if I can get a photo of it since I missed twice. And I need to try to escape a hunt. Um, so I don't know if that'll work. Uh, we need a lighter. I want... Let's just put a bunch of candles down. Maybe that'll help. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. It's just, it's so dark and it sucks that we can't see. I'm going to grab a flashlight again, but I just want these on the ground so I can see the ghost. Maybe we'll put that one like here. Okay, let's go grab a flashlight again. And the lighter. And then we'll see if this works out. All right, grab this and this and this. I hope I have the camera over there. I think I do. All right, let's move that just a little bit closer. Okay, camera. Flashlight, <laughs> smudge stick. Okay, let's grab the cards. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, shit. I want... That's the card that I wanted. So that I can get it to hunt. Oh, shit. Uh, let's go check our sanity, I guess. Because I wanted it to, to hunt. So that I could try to get a photo of it. And then we could hide. Um, to try to escape a hunt. Oh, man. Our salmon... Salmonity? Our sanity is really high still. I guess let's go in there and see if it'll do something. <clears throat> I don't know. Do you have to hold a candle for the sanity thing to help? Ooh. Dirty water. Dirty water. It's so dark. Um, let's see. Fingerprints, dirty water, fucked up on two photos. I guess let's just kind of chill for a second. Oh, it blew out that candle. Let's go grab another candle just because I think it would be funny to have like a bunch of candles in here. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Our sanity is still pretty high. Grab that one. I think there's one upstairs that we should go grab. Um... I know this stops sanity draining, but I just want to put it on the ground. So that we have it. Like, well, what if we put one, like, here? And put one, like, there. And then relight this one. And move that one, like, here. And then let's go grab that one upstairs. I wonder if there's a limit to how many candles. Like, is there, like, five on every map or something? Or, like... <laughs> Because now I want to know. Oh, burnt that one out again. Ooh, that was almost a mistake. All right, I guess let's just sit here with our five candles. Okay, good. I thought it turned the power on. I got really scared. It tried to turn the light on or off. So, how's your day? <gasps> Ghost photo. Yes. Uh, we still need to smudge while it's chasing somebody, but we can drop this. All right, perfect. Ooh, this ghost is going for these candles, damn. This just looks really funny. I don't know. Like, come on, hunt. I believe in you. I'm almost tempted to just hide here anyway. And see what happens. Because, <laughs> like, what else am I going to do? Is it... Is it hunting? Hello? Hello? <laughs> it fucking worked. Oh, I still... I have that High Priestess card. <gasps> oh, I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see what that would look like. Hold on. 
I know I really shouldn't, but I kind of really want to. I don't think you cannot hide behind that door. This isn't that good either. I think the ghost clips through that as soon as it walks in. Ow. I mean, no, because the ghost would go in there. I mean, while we're waiting, uh, our lock, I don't think lockers and stuff are that good. I mean, maybe they are, but I feel like I've never had luck hiding within a, like, oh, what do you call it? Um, like a closet. I've always had better luck hiding behind doors than anything else. Cause like every time I try to hide inside of a, a closet or, or like a locker, well lockers I guess do work, but like closets, every time I've tried to hide in a closet, I've died like every single time without fail. Are these all still? Oh no, it burnt that one out. Okay. I just want to see. Um, let's see. Where are my these? There. Yeah, that's fine. Stations. Okay, perfect. I wanted to hunt again. <clears throat> Lulu, 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 Lulu. Where's the, oh, it didn't even use that one yet. Did it start hunting from upstairs? Is this, that's just one use, right? Oh no, it got me. Why? I just want to see if this works. I'm totally okay with losing all that stuff if it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I just wanted to see what that looked like. Wow. So wait, how would that work on nightmare mode? Would I just instantly come back and just be fucking dead again because the ghost would still be hunting? Oh, that'd be terrifying. All right, gin. It's a gin. It's a gin. That was that was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually neat. Let's see, 240. Nice. All right. So, what do we still need? Like, we could do more photo cameras, lighters, candles, um, video cameras thermometers pretty much everything just everything but i don't see anything that we need so let's find like the cheapest stuff um like lighters glow sticks uh crucifix and we'll go with flashlight so now we should be yep slowly just making our way back up um so let's go to willow Professional, add everything and start. Nice. And then after this, we'll go to Edgefield. Um, and then I think that we'll be. Excuse me. My God, I'm dying. There we go. Sorry about that. You just had a little sneeze. Do I have a Discord message? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's see. There we go. Um, so let's see. Who are you? Steven White. Okay. Uh, we need a photo of the ghost. Cleanse the area. Uh, prevent a hunt with a crucifix. Cool. Powers in the garage. Nice. <clears throat> Camera. All right. Let's go. 
I want I, I always say this, but I really do want a lot. I want them to like double the amount of small houses that they have. And I know that's like a huge, huge ask, but like, oh my God, please, please. Like at least like five small houses like this size, like at least, because I think these are so much more fun than like a big map. And it's not that big maps are bad. It's just playing solo, big maps just take a long time and are very tedious. Where at least like small maps like this, like I can do this not relatively quickly exactly, but like I don't feel like I'm spending 90% of my time just walking back and forth, um, especially on something like high school. Like Asylum, I can run around and dig around and stuff on, which is fine, but um, high school is like kind of small enough that I kind of want to try. Um, and then like campground is kind of doable solo as well. Um, and then prison's just huge. Like even with a group prison is huge. And I know asylum is too, but asylum kind of has this sort of stigma around it that it's like the map that you go to like dig, dick around on and die. And maybe that's just something that I've imposed on myself. I don't really know. But every time I hear about people, they're like, oh yeah, let's go to Asylum, we're gonna die. You know, like people are excited to play that map, not to like actually win though. Does it, if that, I feel like that's what I wanna try to say, yeah. But like, if there was a bunch of more small maps, there'd be so much more to do. Or if there was a way to sort of like generate smaller maps or, or something. Shit, just hire me, I'll make all the small maps. I'll be the one to do it. I won't turn I won't turn that down. I think that'd be fun just sitting there designing a small map. Look up like house floor plans on Zillow all day of like various US and UK and whatnot. Um or even just like Eastern uh houses or whatever. Like wherever really, but I feel like those are the, the most common places that I see in video games is like US, UK and European houses. I don't really see anything outside of that. Which maybe that's a perfect reason why we should branch out to other places. Like, why isn't there like a like Japanese apartment building or like uh, a Chinese traditional house or even just a regular Chinese house? Oh, it's in here. I saw freezing temps. Freezing temps. I think that would be so cool. Um, and it would explain like the huge range of ghosts. Like, I'm sure mytho mythologically speaking, those ghosts aren't limited to those countries, obviously. But I think it would just be a nice little tie-in um, to be like, hey, you know, this ghost here type of a thing or whatever. <clears throat> so let's go grab our camera dots. And we already have a book, so we're good to go there. Um, see, it just, it plays like the same thing three songs did something happen oh and it broke it just completely broke is it because it's youtube safe like if i take that off what happens oh i instantly get a bunch more options like instant Ooh, wait And if I turn YouTube safe on, we're immediately back to the three songs. I think YouTube went through and tagged a bunch of stuff. I think a bunch of people were getting hit on a bunch of their music. I'm just taking YouTube safe off then. I don't care. Like I upload these to YouTube, but I don't have monetization. Like what am I gonna do? <laughs> I, I don't have even remotely enough views, followers, etc., etc., for monetization, even on my main YouTube channel. So who, what do I care? Um, as long as I don't lose my YouTube channel, that's all I care about. Like if if they're just like, hey, you just can't monetize this, I'll just be like, okay, whatever. I couldn't in the first place. Oh, I forgot the dots. Shit, I'm a dumbass. Itchy. I'm so glad it's the weekend. Chill. 
It's been a long week, and I'm just ready to relax. I always really like um, the weekends, not even because of like being able to stream and stuff, but I just I like that every Saturday my husband and I will go and. Uh, where? Oh, there. I was like, where did it go? That <laughs> okay? What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, it's not a gin. I can already tell you that since it turned the power off again. Uh, anyway, uh, every morning on Saturday, my husband and I wake up and we go and get Starbucks together, and then I send him off to work. Like I'll either walk him to work or. Um, like we'll go to the parking garage downstairs, uh, like when we get back from getting Starbucks, cause we usually have to drive there. Um, and I'll walk him, you know, to the, to the corner of the block and then he will, you know, be on his way. Cause he only works like a block away on the weekends. He just works at this nice little gift shop on the, on Saturdays for a couple hours on top of his like actual regular job. Um which he works at a bank for um, in a data entry position. But uh, I don't know. I just like doing that. It's it's weird. I, I just like the little, little tiny moment that we get with each other on Saturdays. And we do the same thing on Sundays. But um, usually at night is when things get a little weird. Um, because, like, sometimes he'll paint and so we won't hang out. Like, we'll be in the same room, but, like, he'll be painting, and so he'll be listening to music and doing stuff, which is totally fine. Like, um, or, like, sometimes we'll play games and stuff, but that's, like, the one time that we have just a tiny little, you know, half an hour with each other. It's really nice. Where are you? I'm cool. Oh, he's about to finish. Gross. Okay. Uh, camera's over there, so we'll want that there. Um, it's not a mimic. I'm betting it's twins. I'm pretty sure it's twins. Maybe? I don't really know. It's hard to tell. Because, um, it hasn't really done stuff in two different areas. But maybe it's an Onryo because it keeps fucking with shit. Like, oh my god, my eye. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What else do I need to do? Do I have capture photos, cleanse the area near with a smudge stick? What was our cursed object again? Did I even find that? Oh, it was a voodoo doll. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess we could try to force the hunt with the voodoo doll. And then we can get a photo of it and then try to escape ironically into the room that it would be hunting from. Oop, twins. I thought so. Evidence. All right, so I guess, let's try to get a photo of the ghost. Aha, it does count as an interaction. These things have been very active. Uh, what have I done with the voodoo doll? Did I leave it in there? I thought I picked it up. Oh no, I did. I did. It's right here. I thought that was a hunt. Holy shit. These things are going crazy right now. God damn. All right, let's go grab a smudge. <clears throat> let's go grab a smudge. Cause this thing can fuck off. Smudge. Oh, do I need more smudge sticks and lighters? Is that what I'm missing? I thought I had five. Maybe I don't. Oops. Uh, do we have a candle? Cause it's really dark in here. Does not look like it. Okay. I guess let's uh, let's go grab some candles out of the van, and we'll kind of make like a, a path or a trail or something. All right, let's drop that off. Drop that off. 
We'll use the lighter in the van to light a bunch of candles. We'll bring in three of them, and then we'll just kind of set them up so that we can see where we're going. Boop, 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 boop. I think it would be neat if they were to add a function to the voodoo doll where, like, what if it had a similar thing to the high priestess? Like, what if not, like... Or some like I don't know. I feel like it just it it needs one other function to really feel useful because right now it just feels weird. Okay. Voodoo doll, camera, lighter. Let's drop this. Drop this. So voodoo doll. Okay, what if we how do I do this? Camera. Okay, there. So camera should be the next thing I pick up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and get me. done oh fuck off oh i almost timed that so bad oh come on i that's it's whatever <laughs> i thought i had that shit okay all right let's go like this like these and let's go i'm not gonna try that again that's too much Oh, I have a Snapchat. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. <laughs> 150. Nice. All right. I want to double check before I switch games. How many smudge sticks do I have? Wow. I really only had two smudge sticks. Um, how many lighters do I have? 10. Okay, cool. I can't believe I, wow, okay. All right, let's go ahead. I think that's good for here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a really quick break. Uh, I have to use the restroom. And then I'm gonna see about uh, switching games. Let's try that first. Oop. Log in. I really need to be. <laughs> let's see i just want to see how how much this works because i launched it earlier and it did okay um i'm just not sure oh my god i'm dying i'm not sure if it's gonna freak out again or if it's gonna work because if it doesn't work then i'm just gonna keep playing faz but i think it should be fine Almost. I'm tired. So tired. Oh, did it work? Play. I hope the music is off. Or in game. It's been a hot second since I played this. <laughs> and. Aha! It does work. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take a really quick break and then I will be back in about three to five minutes or so. So I will see you then. Boom. It's me. I'm back. What the fuck up? Anyway. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah. Also, by the fucking way, once I turned off YouTube safe, the fucking shit opened up wide. So that's cool. Uh, we have a bunch more music options like I wanted originally. 
Uh, I honestly, I think what happened, and I know I bitch about this a lot, but um, I had at least like 50 songs that I liked pretty solidly that were stream safe, just not YouTube safe. Um, and now uh, I'm guessing, taking a, a wild guess, that YouTube was like, meow, um, this isn't applicable or you can't do this. And so, uh, now I got stuck down to three songs. And so take that bitch off and guess what? We're back to having a fuck ton of variety and a bunch of songs I've never seen before. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, had a Snapchat. So, <laughs> guess what? We're playing a new game. I mean, not new necessarily, but it's new since I've started back streaming uh, consistently. Um, so let me go ahead and get some stuff ready for that. Uh, let's see if this actually works. Oh shit, it is. Perfect. Go back here, cut out a studio mode. All right, so. I'm sure as you can tell, we have switched over to Wizard 101 because I just want to know what, where I'm at with this game. It's been such a hot second since I actually know. Let's go to my, let's go to my main character and let's go see where we're at with him. It's been so long since I've played this. Honestly, I don't think there's anything for him to do. I don't have a membership and I don't get memberships. I pay for... Um, oh, yep, there it's loading. <laughs> I don't pay for memberships. I buy the areas as I go because they've been playing this game for 10 years. <laughs> and um, I'm not going to be paying for a subscription service if I don't have to. And I try really hard to never pay for subscription services if at all possible. And I say that really, really heavily because I, I really mean it when I say if it's really hard in certain situations to not be able to do that. Um, for example, uh, like if I if I had the money to afford it, I would totally get the year long version of Pretzel or the year long version of um, the the light system that I have, the Lumia. But like, I don't, I don't see a need in spending that money night, night now, night now. Yeah, I don't really see a necessary, necessity to spending that money. Um, because it, it's just, it's gone. You know, it's not like I'm being reimbursed for streaming or anything. So why would I invest in something that little? Like a, a new computer is something that I can use outside of the stream. A new microphone is something I can use outside of the stream. Um, even the, like, stream deck, I have a lot of stuff set to it that I can use it outside of stream. Um, but, like, everything else from here, like, a new web camera would be, wouldn't really benefit me outside of stream because nobody needs to see my face more than 1080p if I'm in, like, a Skype call or something. <laughs> Discord. Skype. Skype has been, have been dead. Dead. Skype has been, have been dead. Um, so like anything beyond what I already have would just be sort of like unnecessary. Um, what do I have to do? What is my current quest? Emperor's retreat. All right, I guess we're going in here. I have no clue. Oh, I am low on health. Hold on, hold on. Let's go, uh, let's go explore. It's been a hot crafting, what? Crafting? Fishing benefit, oh, I don't care about those. I don't, I mean, I guess. Oh, I guess, oh, whatever. I don't, I probably should have done that on my death, but whatever. <laughs> Anyway, skip. But no, um, 
if I was to have this, not even necessarily as like a main source of income, but if this had any sort of uh, monetary value to it at all, I probably would look into that. Because like if I'm investing in those products and that investment was at least... There we go. At least evened out. You know, like say I spend $50 a year and I make $50 a year. That's all I want. Or even if it paid for like half of it, I think that would totally be worth it. Because there's a lot of stuff that you can do that I just don't have the option with currently. Like, um, oh, what I want to say. Like, like, uh more options for stream notifications and stuff like that i don't know necessarily about the pretzel thing i don't really care i just like having the option of playing songs in the background in general um if it had like way 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 bigger music library i would probably consider it but as far as i'm aware it doesn't it just allows you to it's like the difference between spotify and not spotify like i don't really know any any other differences between the two um, and so that's why I just don't really see the point in it. Because it's not like I'm actively paying attention to what songs are playing in the background. Just as I expected, this place is heavily guarded. Rakotep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who am I killing? Just tell me where to go and who to murder. I don't even know how good or bad this character is, honestly. It's been so long since I played this game. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. All right, who am I killing? Who am I murdering? What am I doing? How do I, I play this game again? Face a mighty warrior to test my skills. Uh, but you showed up instead. Uh, sure. Of a prince. Let's see how this goes. I have no clue. It's been a hot second since I played this game and I really like this game. I've been playing this game almost as long as I've been streaming, if I recall. Uh, I don't know when I made this account. I think... Well, I've been streaming since 2013, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was around the same time. If not even, like, earlier. That'll do 300. Um, that'll cost three pip pippies. He's going to attack first... I kind of want to put that down. I should have. Well, I guess I don't really have the absorb available. I would have done that first turn because then I would have been able to like brunt anything that they throw at me for like a hot second. But let's try this. Oh, can I go? Do I have that elemental or spirit blade or whatever? Because it allows the life blade and trap i don't know if i have those i do on my death i don't need them on my death but i have them because i have the training points speaking of death i think there's a bunch of new spells that i can go again from a bunch of different people because i think they added a whole bunch of spells i wonder how much damage this does <laughs> I really have no clue. Oh, wow. That was... Oh, no. Um, let's just sort of... Sprinkle some fairy dust on us and hope that heals us enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... I don't know if I can do this. I might have to go... Do some other stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to play life wizards. Oh, we can kill him. Probably should have used an absorb. Because these other bitches. Oh, oh, come on. You can do it. I'm pretty sure I have a, a storm wizard as well that I could probably go check out. Because I think they're further along than this one is. But I've always wanted to play a life wizard. Uh, eh, 
Do we heal? No, let's do this and then we'll do an absorb on the next round. And we'll go from there. Back halls. Then we can use the absorb to help us survive long enough to build up to actually attack. <laughs> what? All right, absorb. Oh, he skipped. Okay, that works. I'll take it. I won't say no. I know they've been doing a huge pass of this game. I don't know, something feels weirdly stagnant about a lot of games recently, and I know that, like, the virus has been a huge, <clears throat> huge pain in the ass for everybody. Um, but it feels like stuff has dropped so much, like, super, super hard. But I don't know. I also have this weird thought, and I don't know if this is necessarily true, but me and my husband were talking about this earlier today. So, it seems like a lot of companies are trying really hard to push things like subscription services and make people pay extra to keep certain features, like um, cars now are even making it so that you have to pay extra for certain features, like, um, oh, what do I wanna say? Like, uh, like, uh, like autopilot is the thing that you have to pay extra for in the first place. But then there's other ones that are um, certain like radio features or I forget what it was. I saw it the other day on something somewhere, but point point being they're they're pushing subscription services more than ever. Like the Photoshop is a subscription service. You don't buy it anymore or like um, all of these different programs and softwares are switching over to subscription services. Like I paid for Microsoft up front years ago. And I wouldn't be surprised if nowadays you have to pay for a subscription service. Um, and apparently Apple's looking into making the same thing happen for their phones where you don't actually buy the phone anymore. You have a subscription service. And so it seems like, um, oh, and, and games, online games are, or regular games are switching to online games and making it a, not necessarily a subscription service, but like they're adding a bunch of DLC that you have to pay for separately. So like they're putting out a little bit of work and then charging like the same amount as like the game. Like The Sims is a great example of something that is offline, but like other games have been doing that online, like Destiny and stuff like that. Um, but it, it just feels like things are going in a direction where games are not investing and in actually making well, not just games, but just corporations in general, are not investing the money or the time into actually developing an innovation and creating new things as much as just like, hey, we have this service, now you can pay more for it so that you can keep using that service instead of us, you know, actually developing a new game or DLC for a game or something like, and the DLC part gets egregious too though. Like, it's not like back in the day where a DLC would genuinely change and add on to the game. Now it's like, hey, you want this tiny cosmetic item? Well, it's $30. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of sucks because who dis? <laughs> I don't care. But yeah, no, it, it's just weird. Um, that's one thing I do kind of like about this game is that I can just buy the areas so that I don't have to come back and start a subscription again. And I do wish that more games would do something similar. And I'm sure in the short term, paying for areas is not worth the money. But for me personally, I've been playing this game practically 10 years. Like I'm not going to keep a subscription service up that entire time. It's easier and cheaper for me to just buy the area and invest a ton of time into this and then to come back to it you know five six years later when i feel like playing it again <laughs> which is what happens oh no is there no more health is that all there is for health i mean i am a life wizard but still they're so squishy it's so weird so my first character that i ever had on here was a death wizard and like they i don't want to say that they're squishy 
but their health fluctuates a lot like it gets really low and then it gets full again and it gets low and it gets full like it, it rubber bands a lot but like a life wizard they just fucking eat damage like crazy it's so weird it's such a a, a big difference oh it's telling me to go in the wrong spot it's such a big difference and that's why i was like they sent you to confront me yes You're they did to clean the floors. your floors dirty but yeah no um i think that's just like a weird thing i don't know what i'm trying to say here i'll just do that but yeah no it's the. Uh, it's such a stark difference, but I really wanted to play a life wizard because I like some of the spells and I like what they can do. It's just such a different play style that I have to get used to. Uh. Let's do that. Cause we're, we're building up to actually attack. I want to see if I can one shot him. Um, and plus I'm coming from a wizard who's like level 120 or 30 or whatever the fuck the highest thing was before the most recent world um and so i've I, it's such a an adjustment to go from a wizard who can actually do damage and take damage to somebody who's like hey they cast like a a one pip spell on you now you're fucking dead <laughs> that's why i thought about going to my storm wizard but um they're squishy as well like they do damage but they're squishy and they don't really have the ability to heal whereas at least like the life wizard has a bunch of spells at the disposal so that they can like heal and stuff so i don't have to worry too much about health like i can i can cast like small wimpy spells like this to try to keep my health up and pass a turn at the same time like it's not a lot but it's probably like half of this did they update the blades? They look different. Yeah, see, that was like half of that that I just healed. Um, I mean, I guess this. I don't really know what else to use right now. I have had the virus and it sucks. It does. It really does. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, he put the fucking thing on him. All right. Well, 204 is not too bad, actually. I just want to get rid of this. Does this have. Hold on. I mean, I guess. Whatever. This. Pretzel doesn't know what instrumental means, I guess. Well, doesn't it have people singing? Yeah, it still does. It still does. I still really want to make, like, a chocolate cake. Like, really badly. I don't know why. I don't think I can pull it off, though. The more I think about it, the more I don't think that it's something that I can really do. Um... And not that I'm, like, bad at that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure how to quite explain it. Like, I'm so concerned that it's going to turn out... That it will turn out bad. That I'm too scared to even try. And because I have such, like, a high expectation... Mentally of what I want it to be. And I think that's the problem. But I've never done it. So I don't know why I have that expectation to be able to be like... Yeah, I'm going to be able to cook a chocolate cake... Or bake a chocolate cake the first time absolutely perfectly like no what you fucking dunce like what are you expecting to to happen like what the fuck i don't even know if we can though i would have to find a recipe a recipe online to see if we have the resources to do so um and we might honestly if i start if i stop streaming at like a decent time i might be able to pull one out of my ass pretty easily I just don't think we have I also don't think we have enough baking pans like I want to do like a round cake and I think we only have one so I'd have to cook two separate cakes like I'd have to do one take it out and then make the next 
and then take it out and then they both have to cool so that I can like stack them. But that's gonna take so much time. That would take so long to do. Ooh, it would be fun to try to set up a cooking stream or something. I don't know how. I don't know how I would do that. Um, I'd have to figure out a way to move my like computer and stuff, but that would be, f that would be fun. I would enjoy that a lot. Let's bake a cake together, guys. Cause like I could move my computer over there. Um, I'd have to rearrange our living room and stuff, but then we'd also have to clean our kitchen. <laughs> It's not dirty. It's just there's there. It's cluttered. It's a tiny, tiny kitchen, and so having like two items out makes it look makes it look like uh, messy. I think they did update the blade. Weird. Um. Well, like for example, uh, like our toaster's out right now. We have like just a sing, just like a two slice toaster, two bread slice toaster. Um, it takes up, no joke, like a third of the counter space on the one side. And we have like a somewhat big island, but we have a an electric kettle and we also have a Keurig. And so that takes up like the rest of the space on the thing. And so we just, there's not a lot of room for stuff just stuff in general like a cutting board takes up the entire island and we would have a lot more room but i think either it broke before we moved in or they just didn't put one in this unit but there's supposed to be like a bar style island thing uh, attached to the actual like cabinet island and there's not but there is an other apartments in this building just not this specific unit which is why we think that um, something happened to it. Cause it, it's just weird. Now we have this half wall thing going that doesn't do any perp that has no purpose. Um, and just sort of separates the room really awkwardly. It's, it's all weird. It's really weird. I love this apartment. I want to say that though. I do really like this apartment. It just sort of sucks sometimes because people uh, recent, well, and the past like two months have been like smoking a lot of like devil's lattice. Uh, and I have some sort of weird, I don't know if allergy is the right word or whatever you want to say to it. I just, it, it smells so bad that no matter what, whenever I smell it, I get like really, really sick. Like, and I mean really sick. Like even just the slightest whiff will make me throw up. It's bad. And so people have been smoking it a lot and it's been getting into our apartment and making me sick like every single day. And that's one of the reasons I've been sick so much the past um, couple of weeks because back in December and January when I was streaming a bunch, that wasn't a problem. And only in the past couple of months has it really picked up and that's why I haven't been streaming as much because I'm, I'm sick all the fucking time. <clears throat> and like, We've tried to figure out what unit it is so that we can tell like management and stuff. And we've told management before and they have a pretty vague idea of who it could be. But then the person who was the manager is no longer the manager here anymore. And we got somebody else and a new leasing agent to boot. You've done well, And the new leasing wizard. agent the doesn't care work now. like at all. Open Cause door, um, my husband went down there and was like, Hey, you know, we're getting sick all the time. We're waking up at three, four in the morning almost every day because the smell is so strong and so bad that it's, you know, making us sick. You know, can you please, 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 please do something. This is making living here miserable. Like we love it here and we want to stay here, but this, this is causing us not to be able to do that. <clears throat> and they're like, Oh, the new leasing agent was like, oh, yeah, we don't do anything with that. You're going to have to go, like, call the police or something. What? No, you guys you guys are the ones who take care of that, not us. Excellent. You I worked in oh uh, property heart. management before. Let's it's their responsibility to take bodies. care of that if stuff. Do they this, don't understand. They will fight alongside us. Show. Why are you pointing so far away? But yeah, no, they, they haven't done anything about it. And so um, we're just going to keep complaining 
which is kind of a dick move, but that's kind of the point is like we we're just going to keep doing it to be annoying until they finally do something about it. Um, and they can keep telling us that they don't do that. But then again, they that that is what they do. That's what the point of a. it's like if it's in the lease agreement, they have to also hold up their end. That's the point. You're not supposed to we smoke in here. So if somebody's smoking in here, you need to make sure that you take care of that because you wrote that in the lease. And <clears throat> if you're breaking the lease, now that person can get out of it. If we do not save the Manders, we are I don't no care. Than that tots. But I, see no harm in hurrying. Defeat overseer I don't know what that dueler thing was, but I don't once. care. <laughs> brazier, 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 brazier. The door is frozen shut by magic. Perhaps the braziers hold the secret to opening it? They should all be set to death energy. I don't know. I forgot how weird this game gets sometimes. It can get very repetitive in certain worlds. Like one of the worlds that I cannot stand is Zafaria and um, I think it's the one that comes after Zafaria because it, it just it gets really repetitive and um, oh what's the other word I'm trying to think of it's repetitive and something else where it's it's just, just cons like I understand this game is all about fighting and stuff but it's like Go here, fight these five people. Go here, fight these five people. Go here, fight these five people. Like, it's just constant. Um, the same, same long schlog of, of fighting. Whereas, like, some of these other ones are a little more... Like, yeah, it's still go here and fight this, but it's not, like, five, six... At a, five or six fights at a time. It's like, hey, you're going to fight... 10 people in a row and it has like a story amongst those like 10 people and I don't know it's it's different is like the the way that I can really explain it <laughs> what is that world um is there one worlds oh where are you so Crocotopia Mushu Dragonspire Dragonspire got a little repetitive at a point too uh Celestia was too short I think in my head, Wisteria could use a bunch of expansions. Um, oh no, not Avalon. I actually liked Avalon. Zafaria and Azteca were just not great. Uh, Chrysalis was hit and miss for me. I didn't hate it, didn't love it. Some parts were great, some parts were kind of boring. Um, I wish Aquila was bigger. It's such a weird side world. It just feels kind of awkward. I wish Polaris was longer. Um, and I did like Mirage a lot. Um, I don't know if I just missed a bunch of side quests or whatever, but I kind of do wish that that one was longer as well. Um, Imperia felt so weird to me. I don't know why. I think it's the most, the last two worlds have been so awkward because like Mirage all kind of fits together. Um, Polaris all fits together, you know, like a giant ice world, a giant sand world. Chrysalis had a lot of biome variations to it, but it still felt cohesive. And same with Azteca and Avalon and Zafaria and Grizzleheim and Wintertusk. Like, they all had variation to them, which is fine, um, but it felt very jarring. Like, Celestia kind of got a little weird at a point because it was like tropical which i get was like supposed to be like above ground um but i was kind of hoping they would have just done like a whole world itself was covered in water and they wouldn't have worried about like a uh, land or islands or anything but when it gets to like imperia um you have like these floating islands and then you have this like modern city but then you have these like old dwarven what you like these old dwarven things or whatever you want to say um mines and stuff and then you have this like somewhat futuristic like storm area but then you also have the this like piratey shanty town like they almost feel like they were all separate worlds that were just sort of compounded together and then you have like the jungle which just felt like a 
continuation or a sort of like rip of Azteca and it just felt so weird. And I in like Caramel, I haven't seen too much of or played. So I guess not necessarily the last two, but like I think Caramel kind of all is pretty cohesive again. From what I've heard, it's kind of short. Again, it's another short world. But then you get to Lemuria and they're like, oh, it's a bunch of previous worlds put together. But like, wasn't that what um, the other one was? Oh my God, do I not have like any attack spells? Holy shit, hold on. Let's just heal this fairy. Um, wasn't that what, like, not Zafaria, <laughs> fuck. Um, oh God, I literally just said it. Why is my head gone? Imperia, wasn't Imperia that? Like, I thought one of the best parts of Imperia was the giant, like, open field part of it. Oh, see, there's another one. Um, I thought that the giant open field part was really good, and so was the sort of, like, piratey shanty town thing. Like, those could have been two, two separate worlds. That would have been perfect. But if I think about it even more, the whole, like, Imperia field... Like, I need to look up these places so I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. But they, they could have that open section could have been fit so well with caramel or it feels like they at least inspired each other because they look this sort of like uh northern european um fields and and, and stuff kind of match together or like even german inspiration i guess between the two to a degree but i don't know it just felt very weird how they've sort of chunked up the world's I'd like another, like, chrysalis-sized world that fits together. Like, this world is another good example. Like, yeah, you have your different houses or whatever they're called. Like, they're all... There's, like, the fire and the ice and the storm. But they're all Egyptian-themed. Like, they all still go together. I'm not a huge fan of the, like, updated sections that they've added with the new dungeons. Only because it's very jarring. <laughs> it's very jarring to go from this, like, 2009 textures and stuff to this, like, updated version. I almost feel like the updated version of Wizard, though, is getting a little too cartoony. Like, this has, like, a gritty style to it, which I like. Um, not that it couldn't use an update. I don't want to say that at all. But it it's like the eyes of things are getting too big. And the edges are getting too soft. Like, they need to pull back just a little bit just a little bit um league of legends is doing this too they're they're sort of like for the lack of a better uh, word they're getting a little too anime with their style like for games that were originally very um like west inspired they're starting to get this like heavy eastern inspiration and that's not necessarily a bad thing but like you can't pull it too far because if you go too far then it just kind of loses what it was in the first place and that's kind of what's happening with league of legends like it it had this almost like medieval dark grit to it and now it's starting to just turn into this weird weird anime thing I don't know. It's not my style. I don't care for it personally. If other people do, that's fine. It just kind of sucks that a game that I did enjoy at one time is sort of gone. Like, it's just kind of not there anymore. Um, And this one's not that bad. Like, this one is obviously not even close Excellent to that, job, but young croc. some of the, the most recent things are just so weird. Like, here, I will find... Like, look how big these eyes are. Like, look how big the eyes are on, on this thing versus, like, this. Like, if this was done today, it would have huge eyes. Like, even this thing has big eyes. Do you see that? <laughs> and this one. And this one. Like, and then look at this one. This one has, like, smaller eyes. And then this one... This one's like kind of more gritty and dark and stuff, but I get they're not like that updated. But like the that's my point is that some of these like and this is this is okay. Like this is a good this is kind of like a good middle ground to take it, you know. But then you go back to this. Huge eyes again. 
even like the updated pickles like look how big its eyes are they're huge it looks weird this one is supposed to have big eyes it's an alien but like do we have like a regular one somewhere in the shop that i can like compare <laughs> i don't think so like and this is a good example of like a, a good place to take it like this is a style like this has a, a cohesive style these eyes are just awkward and uncomfortable like those eyes are huge and weird it's almost like this uncanny valley type of a thing if that makes sense like they're they're almost too realistic and they don't have enough of a stylized look and i know i was kind of complaining about like cartoony stuff but um i don't know it's there's there's certain nuances and like middle grounds that you can sort of hit to accomplish these goals and it feels like they're just sort of <laughs> they're going too far one way and not far enough the other if that makes sense it's it's really really weird and i know this game is not made for me and so that's why it's like these are just criticisms for the sake of conversation nor i don't actually anticipate any of this to make any difference or anything like that um see like this is just weird look at what it used to be and now look what it is it's weird like he almost looks like he's made out of marshmallows look at his feet look at his feet is he standing sideways the the other guy he is look at him he's standing sideways what the fuck all right anyway oh shit i didn't there you know what i really want i don't know what the fuck is wrong with me i don't know why i want this or what the hell i want some either perkins or ihop and i've wanted it for like a couple of days like but like not just like like not just like like uh not just a simple um what do you want to call it uh like like <laughs> we we will order perkins or villagin or one of the two every now and then and we'll have it delivered here but i kind of want to go there and sit down and have it and that's not something that we have done in a long time and I think that's why uh, da, da, da. content expanding multiple factors <laughs> Well, anyway, um, let's use that. I'm just attacking the, the minion because there's this, I want more traps, but apparently I'm not getting those. So I might just have to attack anyway. Oh, oh no, it's still there. For a second there, I thought the minion attacked the uh, <laughs> boss. I was about to be upset. I think that minions are really weird because they're, they're nice to have and it almost feels necessary with the way that I play if that makes sense here let's do this let's heal it almost feels necessary with the way that I play because I like to I like to one shot things but I th think that's not possible with a life wizard I think I just need to keep slinging spells at this bitch uh so that i can actually like kill it instead of trying to build up a bunch of things because i'm used to having faint on my death wizard and i don't have that on this one and i'm not going to because it's two it's two pips so that's like two rounds to try to get it and that's just that's that's too much work but I want to try to get as far as I can with this wizard because I think some of their later spells are really, really fun and interesting. Um, I want to know how to get 
Sorry, I don't want Oop. Whoop. Leaf. Storm. Spell. How do you learn this spell? Spell is available to creatures only unless you have an item card. But how do you get the... How do you get it, though? Oh. I mean, that's... Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 you, I guess. Get the spell. Both rat and pixie on my death. I don't even know. I don't think I can get that spell, though. Makes Forest Lord look quick. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was a better way to get an AoE as a as a life wizard, because it I can tell later on it's gonna be a slog to try to get through some of these um fights. I don't have enough spell like see this is already I've already realize like yeah no I don't have enough stuff for this life or no leaf storm wizard moment is it on an amulet where is where is leaf storm item card aha so there is a looks like there's a couple different places to get it uh, yeah, let's use you on there, because let's just get rid of the boss. Tundra Hunter, Dwarven Arrow, what? Oh, you can get it from a pet? Interesting. Soulful Colossus or the Lively Colossus? Ew. As a first generation, 30 talent tokens and 10 spirit tokens. Pet talents. This talent is locked when manifested. Pet talent either provides benefits to the wizard or raises the pet's attributes. Potential benefits are available. You have to unlock talents now? What? Am I missing something? Probably. Oh, shit. Do I not have... Oh, my God. God, what the fuck? Um, yeah, let's just cast this on us for a second so I can reassess what's even happening. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. I think I've been dying for like five minutes and I have not even noticed. Cause like, I think that would be a really nice spell to have, but do I really have to unlock it? Cause then it that's pointless to even learn then. Uh, yes, let's do that. Whatever. Boom. <laughs> Ew. Sorry, I'm distracted by stuff. So, I... had pizza like not that long ago and I'm still hungry I don't know what's wrong with me but I'm trying really hard to cut back on my food intake because not that I'm like trying to starve myself but like it was the quantity of food that I would take in that was too much so I'm trying to cut that back to a more appropriate amount especially since I've been working from home um weird uh and so i'm trying to just adjust how much i've been eating instead of how frequently and i've been trying to cut back on snacks and things like that because i think that's helping quite a bit with 
Yeah, see, there's new blades. What the hell? That's so weird. I'm trying to cut out, like, uh, sugar. Not, like, a ton, but just so that I'm not eating, like, a bunch of sugars and things like that nature. Um, trying not to eat a lot of carbs anymore. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, wait. That doesn't matter. I have, I have a way to get around that. Um... Because we used to eat a lot of pasta, and so I've been trying really hard to cut back from that. Oh! <laughs> Not Ryan, 69420. Nice. Thank you for following. <laughs> but I've been trying to cut back on, like, a bunch of, like, carbs and stuff. Because we used to eat pasta, like, twice a week, and it was a lot. And I gained, like, a lot of weight from that. And so I'm just like, yeah, no, let's, uh, let's try not to do that anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a job where I walk 10 miles a day anymore. I need to be careful of my... Oh, this fucking bitch! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Well, there goes that plan. Now I have to start all over. That's fine. I'm gonna run out of spells before I can kill this thing. Damn. Oh, come on. I guess I still have that storm spell to use. Shit. This is why I should play in my Death Wizard, who I actually have leveled up. <laughs> Life Wizards are not meant to attack. They're only made to protect. Didn't they recently change how some of the death spells even work? I don't know. They've been doing some weird balance passes in this game. I don't understand anything. I haven't played this game in at least five years. Is that true? How long has it? Probably at least four, actually, if I think about it. No, maybe closer to five. Uh, 2017 does sound appropriate because I got married this year, which would have been on our third anniversary, and I haven't played it or streamed it since I've... Crocodile Snake Palm Tree. I haven't streamed it since I've been married, or since I've been... Since him and I have been together. I already forgot what it was. Crocodile snake palm tree. All right, let's see. Do I have to kill someone else or do I even need to remember that? I don't even know if I need to remember that. Oh, oh, I do. Uh, Beep. Snake. Palm tree. Probably didn't even need to be in that order. I'm probably just overthinking things. This is a children's game after all. I don't think don't I need to get that deep. Me, wizard. I was just so deep. Uh, live um, do we have any course. more spells that I could throw in to hell? No. Cool. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I should go learn those blade spells from the tree. That actually probably would be helpful. Oh god, 800 health. Uh, it's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. We'll be fine. Guys, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine. Life wizards are so weird. This is such a big difference. To the death wizard that I've been playing. Uh, shit. Um, well, screw that trap, I guess. Let's just throw this at him because then it'll get rid of the shield. I should have known better. These guys are ice and they like to have shields. Wasn't there, there was like a boss, if I remember, in Celestia that was like super fucking weird. He almost constantly had this, like, minus 90 shield or something crazy on him. And it was, like, a cheating boss. And I don't remember what I had to do to get around it, but I think it got to the point where I got so tired of trying to beat him that I just brute-forced my way through the fight. <laughs> I was just like, fuck you and your 90% shield, and then just kept throwing on pierce after pierce after pierce. 
to try to get it down as low as I could to do as much damage as I could because I either didn't have the means to do the cheat or the cheat was such a weirdly convoluted thing that I just didn't care. Is it? Because it's like the... What is it? Like the Moon Lord or something? Like Celestia bosses. It's like right before the last boss or something like that. Or like the second to last. It's in like a tower. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, School of Moon. Yeah, 90% tower shield and destroys any traps placed on him immediately. I think I just kept putting a bunch of... Um, you can blade up, which makes him remove his tower shield. If there's three towers on him, use a triple blade. Yeah, it was so... I just had to, like, keep casting blades or something. It was really, really weird. <laughs> it was a weird-ass fight, and I just got really annoyed. Because I'm like, this is a kid's game. I shouldn't have to think this hard. What the fuck? But my brain never works, like, 90% of the time, so I'm not even surprised that it took me, like, probably an hour and a half to get through that fight. And that's not even one of the worst ones that I've ever been in. I think one of the worst ones was not the last one in Mushu, but it was one of the, like, it was a Grim Reaper looking thing in Mushu. And I forgot to bring, um, like, prisms as a death wizard, and it was a death boss. And so I was doing, like, 40% or 30% damage to him. Like, he was negating, like, 70% of my damage. And so I just kept throwing shit at him because I'm like, I can't leave and come back. I don't want to. I'm already here. I don't know what else to do. And I just kept attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking. And it took so long. It took me so long. If I remember too, I don't even think I could leave and come back or something. Like something was preventing me from, from doing that. Because I think I even died to him a couple of times. But it didn't matter. I don't remember what happened. It was something really, really weird. Like, if I did die, I'd have to run, like, super far to get back. And it was, like, I'd have to get through, like, a whole bunch of fights just to get to him. And I really didn't want to die. <laughs> I, I I don't remember what it, what it, the specifics were. But it was, oh, my God, it was so much. It took me, like, an actual hour to get through. Because I kept re-rolling my cards. <laughs> I'd run out, I had like four re-rolls or reshuffles in my deck, and so as soon as I'd run out of cards, I'd do that and start all over again. <laughs> Just, all right, time to do five more damage to this 2,000 health boss. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, there, I finally have the minion. Uh, Let's just heal, because there's nothing else we can do, and then we'll cast the minion. And hope it carries us through this, because... I don't do any fucking damage. God, I'm so hungry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have ice cream, but I'm not, I don't want to touch that. I've already had too many sweets today. <laughs> oh, minion. There we go. Let's see how we do through this. I am still kind of sad that Mirage was kind of short. I wanted that world to be so much bigger than it was because I actually liked how it looked and the the theming and all that stuff of it, but it felt so short. I think I got through that world in like a day, maybe a day and a half worth of, of playing. Um, and then it was just over. Uh, let's do... I hope I survive long enough. <laughs> oh god, am I even gonna survive? Oh, what is it? Is it Grizzleheim and like Mushu? Or something that have like a ton of life enemies? I don't think I've ran into a world yet though where I've had an issue with there being too many death bosses on my main account. Or main character, same account, but. I think I've just only had issues uh, with bosses specifically, but like everything else has been perfect. Oh, she's going to heal me. 
Everything else has been perfectly fine. Let's get rid of that stupid shield. There we go. I think my gears... Actually, if I remember correctly, the gear that I have on this I got from my main account somehow. Um, and it's not bad. It's not great, but it's also not bad for this character. I think it's probably the best I'm going to have for quite a while. Um, I don't even know what's going on with my Storm Wizard. I have one of every type of wizard. I just don't play this game that much. <laughs> I would like to get back into it someday, but... Alright, attack. I think I'm so far removed from it, it's almost probably a good thing that I'm like playing a an older or an, a newer character that's so far behind so I can like catch up and relearn everything. Because I was trying to play in my death wizard and I'm like, wait, what? What is this again? Where am I at? What's going on? Because I got, I don't necessarily follow the story of these games as much as I just sort of go through the motions of playing it. Um, but it was like, I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing there. I think I just finished Imperia, but like, I'm not gonna get the next world yet because I don't feel like spending money. Because <laughs> like, I don't have a membership. I just have, um, I just buy the worlds so that I can play them on all my characters whenever I want. I'm gonna die. See, life wizards are weird. <laughs> I'm gonna die, but like, I'm also gonna heal a lot. I get really low and then my health jumps up again. It's kind of like a death wizard, but with more steps. Because usually death will attack and heal in the same turn. I'm glad that they finally updated Scarecrow though. That spell took so long to get through anything. This is gonna do no damage at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do after I stream though, like. I'm kind of like at this weird limbo zone where it comes to games because I've been having fun playing what I have. Maybe I should go back to Elden Ring or something, I don't know. But I've been having fun playing the games I have, but I'm also like, I'll open up a game and I'll be like, oh, I actually don't wanna play this right now. And then I'll close it and go to something else. And so like, that's why I haven't, played like a lot of games recently like I had fun playing fast today of course but then I was like yeah no I think I'm only gonna be able to get an hour out of that before I need to go play something else but um maybe I should start the fable series on Mon like fable 3 on Monday because I know I played fable 1 on stream and I had a lot of fun um maybe I should go to play fable 2 or fable 3 because I don't have access to 2 maybe that would work because then I can get through Fable 3, and that will probably take me a day or two, if that. Like, I can get through that game pretty quick. Uh, let's just get rid of him. And then, like, I want to play Fallout 76, but I just, I don't know. They announced their, like, roadmap for this year, and, like, there's really nothing that's gonna, gonna be added or no new content or anything. And so I don't really see a point in playing it. And they've added events, but like, I already kind of have everything I want. If that makes sense. Like my, my characters, like, there's not like a level cap, but <clears throat> I can't get any new perks. And then I have a build that I, that I actually like, and I have, you know, all the stuff that I want. So there's not like anything for me to do. Um. Maybe we could play through the Bioshock series or, I mean, I don't really feel like going back to Satisfactory, but maybe um, could definitely play through the Portal series. I really like the Portal series. A golden, scarab. a golden scarab, wow. I don't know what that is. I mean, I'm sure it does something. Wait. Did I see a ring that's better? Oh, is my bag full? Wait, what? 
Is my bag full? Oh no. Where's, who do I have to talk to? Where are you? Where are you? Oh God, it's like playing fast again. Where are you? Are you here? What do you want? How old are you? You have fought He looks bravely. old. That's how old. It sickens me to know one of the Order's members gave the Krakonomicon to Queen Krakopatra. Oh God, not a book. Even though it is never easy to defeat one of our own, it was the right thing to do. Not a book. I fear more troubles it's await like... us, young wizard. Krakopatra wields the Krakonomicon, and Krakotep spoke of a. We may not have always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's petting it. Past, like what the fuck? The right path at last. Uh, let's Join go here. I should probably go to my house so that I can check out. Yeah, I should just. Did I uninstall Rocket League finally? That game got on my nerves. Anything that tries, like, if I bought you on Steam, I should not have to open up uh, another launcher. <laughs> okay, where is, why do I, why is my bag full? Like, what? Oh, that's why. I have a bunch of furniture items. That makes sense. What the fuck? Why is this here? I mean, yeah, I guess. Sure, we'll put two of these things here. <laughs> I don't know why these are on this character. Oh, wow, I have a lot of stuff. Is that another mount and another book? And another mount and another pet. And another wallpaper. And another wallpaper. <laughs> Man, I should buy a house. Yes. No, no, no. Pick it up. Yes. Yes. Uh, backpack. There we go. Attic, 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 attic. I'm just going to move it all to the attic and we'll deal with it at a later date when I actually have a house because I don't have one right now. Oh, I have a lot of floor... Or wallpapers and stuff too. Uh, we'll keep the potatoes. Move that to the attic. To the attic. Um, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Bunch of stuff there. Cool. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Let's go. Oh wait, no, no, no. Bank. There's a bunch of equipment in here that I need because. Not that one, but let's uh, move to backpack, backpack, backpack. Because I don't want my thing to be full of junk. Backpack. Okay, cool. And then that's all good. All right, nice. All right, all right, let's go back here and let's go look through our equipment and see what does and doesn't work for us. Because we should have some things that are better, I would think. Uh, 45 max. Yep, that one's already better. Uh, 35, but we have a better chance. 60 max health. Plus 60. Are these the... Oh, these are the same. So yeah, let's equip that because the health is more valuable in my head. Aha! Um, anything here that's better... Not really. Parkatooping caftan. 170. It comes with better health. Like, this is way better. Way more health. Comes with, like, a, a spell 5% defense and 3% accuracy. This comes with 3% damage, but it's not, like, useful. Um, that's just a decoration. And we can get rid of the rest of this then. Finish. And then... Yeah, no, that's, that's way worse. Okay. What about hats? 
Uh, 3% damage. Mysteria. Oh, yeah, no. That one's not as good. So we'll feed that one. Jaded Hat of Mystery? Yeah, no, I don't know. None of that's good. So we will get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um, I think we'll keep those. We just need to put them in our bank. Boots. 6% damage. Spells. A hundred. Oh no, that one's not. That one's not good at all. Uh, why is that locked? Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Wands. We're good. Two percent. Nope. Neither one of those are good. So we can get rid of those. I'd rather have the health than anything. And then we already have our pet, which is set to where it is. All right, we should be good to go. Let's see, talk to the one lady or the dude at the place with the thing and the stuff. Cool, got it. Never been done before in this game. Never, never had to go talk to anybody before. I don't even talk to people in real life. I've never done it before. I don't know how. Uh, hot, you, I need to talk to you. That's who I need to talk to. Give me spirit trap elemental blade let's take spirit trap probably won't use it anytime soon but it's just nice to have on hand i want the element the elemental blade one hello okay what do i need to do talk to you young wizard yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you're all upset about something cool bye <laughs> i just want to get through this world x Talk to, oh, I can just go to the oasis. <laughs> Don't need to worry about nothing else. Hmm? The tomb of Stock blah, blah, blah. You're in luck. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, did we not have a, oh, okay. God, I really don't know how far I am on this one. So far behind compared to my you main character. into the tomb of storms? You must possess three golden scarabs. Oh. Touch each scarab in turn to each of the obelisks oh, and you will activate them. Then the tomb and its secrets will open to you. you assuming you have not already found and your way you. in. You. You. Okay. Can I go? Is it ready? Oh, there it goes. Ah, I'm hope I can make it through this. Well, I guess I have better gear now too. I probably have like a hundred more health than I did before. Greetings. Don't. All right, go over here. One thing that I do like about streaming this game over some of the other ones is that like, I don't have to think. I can play this pretty mindlessly and focus on like chat and stuff i mean that's what a lot of the games that i play are but this one especially compared to some of the other ones because it's like hey just do damage and then i can like zone out after the rest after that now that i've lost my ability to think properly if you have not come yeah 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 pass, shut your fucking face glory, you must be punished. shut your dumb ghost face and just die already or die again i don't know <laughs> Summon a minion. We'll do that one next because we're definitely gonna need the help for this next set of fights. Because I don't do damage. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so tired. I legitimately took a nap just on the floor today. Like, literally. Just on the floor. Ugh. Right after I got off work, I was like, you know, I just don't feel like going anywhere right now. And I just laid down. Face down. 
has to. That's the way we like to put. <laughs> oh god, I did think about that whole. Um... Oh, one thing that we were talking about. Uh... Oh shit, I should have had a prism. Maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, we were talking yesterday about like that whole um... drinking a whole bottle of wine and stuff, but like. Uh, we don't have any wine. Or at least none that I will drink. Like, we have a couple different, uh, red wines, but we don't have any, um, white wines. And, like, that's the only kind that I'll drink. Like, I like red wine, don't get me wrong, but the kinds that we have available are, like, very, very dry. And I, I don't like dry wine at all. Um, and so I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Definitely not not gonna do that. Um maybe next weekend, because then my uh one of my moderates moderators, one of my mods is gonna be available to uh be here to play games and stuff, because I know she wanted to be here. So I'll just have to see if I can either go to the store to pick some up or see if my husband will when he goes to the store this week. Um Oh god, what do I want to do? Uh, <laughs> let's do that. I need to set up to attack. I've just been sitting here dicking around for a second. I need to pay attention to what the fuck I'm even doing. I'm really glad that they added in the ability to change the appearance of your wizards because I went through and changed all of them since I have seven. I went back and made them all appropriately colored for the school that they're in. So like the eye color, the hair color, and stuff like that. I just wish you could change the robe color, but you can't. That's like the one thing you can't change. And I'm just like, ah, damn it. Oh, come on. She's gonna, oh shit. Well, there goes the trap. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to just keep attacking and attacking and attacking, which is fine. It, it's just a different play style than what I'm used to. Um. Because again, I'm used to on a uh, death wizard just taking a bunch of hits and stacking a bunch of stuff up on them and then just doing a bunch of damage at once. I'm just going to have to attack him because he just put that fucking thing on there. I'm still hungry. I don't even know what I'm going to do about that because, like, I already had cereal today. I already had a pizza for supper, and we had oatmeal for lunch. Um, so, like, I've already eaten three times today. I think I just need to deal with it. <laughs> um, I guess let's attack that. Turn to some exact where they stock up on some absurd hot sauce. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm reading some stuff while I'm like waiting for this to go. Um, let's cast another blade, I guess. I want to get rid of that secondary spirit, then things will be better. What is this? Oh, it's a. For a second, I thought it was somebody singing. I was like, what the fuck? See, it kind of sounds like somebody's singing for a hot second. Uh, I hope that does enough damage to kill him. Well, I guess they have the blade. That should be okay. Oh, I want a dog. I want a cat. I want a pet in general. I miss having a, a little, a little friend. What the fuck am I? What? Yeah. 
Anyway, I am I am so distracted. I need to actually pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, do I have an absorb on me? No. Let's summon a minion. I'm doing good. I'm doing okay on health, so I can I can just summon this. It's fine. I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I wanna play Sims again. I've I've really enjoyed this sort of like miniature whatever you wanna call it that I've been doing, where I'm like every Saturday I play Sims and just do like a quick build in in like three, four hours or something. Um or some sort of a renovation. And so I th think I'll just keep up with that and just kinda go from there. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been ha I've been enjoying it, and it sort of keeps some level of consistency. Cause like Saturdays are the days that I don't guarantee that I'll stream at all, and so just having that extra little um, thing where it's like, hey, we're not gonna play like a story game, or we're not gonna play like our regular games like Faz or anything on this day. This is the day, just like as an extra added bonus or, or something like that. So like if it's ever missed, it's not that you're ever missing anything. Not that there's like a story with Faz, but I feel like I feel like the point is there and the intention is there. <laughs> Plus, um I just like streaming it and I think that um I tend to get a little bit more of like a European audience when I stream on Saturdays from what I've noticed. I've seen a lot of people from like the United Kingdom and stuff like that show up on uh, Saturday mornings. And usually from what I've seen, a lot of the that specific audience that I have or part of my audience that I have really likes the, the Sims a lot. So I want to keep up with that. I do miss being able to stream from like eight to like two in uh, during the week, but there's no way like I have a I have a full-time job now that's I don't think that'll ever happen again as long as I have this job not that I want this job to go away quite quite the opposite actually I I love this job and I want to keep it for as long as I possibly can um but I I love streaming too it's 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 a fun hobby um I don't ever anticipate it to ever really go beyond that but I just gotta keep streaming more often and I think I need to stop jumping around on games so much. Like I love doing that. I love just playing whatever I want. But I think if I really wanna make a push for an affiliate, I should pick a game and stick to that. Um, and see kind of where that goes. Um, oh, there's someone here. Let's do that. Whoop. And shoop. Four whole damage. Wow. Oh, isn't he Storm? I think he is. I think that's why that didn't do any damage to him, because he's Storm. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I don't really have any other attack spells right now anyway. I think I used them all. Or at least in that hand, I didn't have any other ones. That's the thing that kind of sucks about uh, Life Wizards. There's not a lot of spells going on here. I think I should be able to attack next round and kill him though, because I think the fairy's attacking and then that'll bring him within range of the Leprechaun spell. Oh yeah, easy. If he doesn't kill him. Oh yep, there he goes. He's dead. Nice. Oh, wait. <gasps> Does he, he has to have like one health, like literally like one health, four. Oh my God, he would. Just die already. I would be curious to see what they do with this game 
I think here's here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts that nobody asked for. Um, I think that they should really go through and update some of the older parts of the game. And like they did that with Wizard City, but I think they should really make a push for that. I'm gonna jump around real quick. I don't wanna be jump. Um I think they should really make a push for that because as much fun or like like what am i trying to say like i don't want them to completely stop making new worlds and i don't think that they have the resources to kind of do that um but i think that they should hire like a small team like a small like talented team on the side to make a big push to update their older worlds like crocotopia and Grizzleheim and all the way up through Dragonspire at least. And shit, maybe even after Dragonspire. Um I think Celestia has some older areas to it. Not all of it's bad, I don't want to say that, but at, at at the bare minimum up through Dragonspire cuz Dragonspire is pretty rough in some spots. Um even this you can see how gritty everything really is and it looks fine at a distance it's not the problem it's like when you get up close to it, it's when you really see <laughs> when you can really see the uh how it looks oh i had to come all the way back here i should have said a thing great job young wizard uh defeat okay now to go kill someone else probably should have been paying attention to what the story is to this because I have no clue what's going on but I do see a giant a bunch of ghosts <laughs> alright let's go this way I mean honestly if I remember a lot of this doesn't this have something to do with like that guy with the stuff and the thing Malister because he's like, he needs the book of death to do book of death things. Man. Challenge someone as great as me. Man. Oh, he's Storm too. Uh, I guess let's do this. I don't really know. I need to get that minion as soon as possible so that I can um, use that to not die there <laughs> what's the opposite of oh it's it's myth for some reason storm and myth don't seem like opposites but i think this game has a weird elemental ideology to it like life and death makes sense fire and ice makes sense but myth and storm are opposites that seems weird storm doesn't really seem like it would be an element as much as a off brand of something else but then they also have like sun and moon magic and it's it's all just so much really uh what do i want to do i guess let's just throw an absorb on i don't there's not really anything else for us to do right now <laughs> Let's see. Flash. I'm kind of sad that League of Legends has been so boring recently. Oh, excuse me. I haven't really been playing it. I don't think I've actually played... Um, God, probably a few weeks. Like, it's been, it's been a while since I played it and like I, when I play it I don't even like play I just go on the PVE and play like one or two bot games and that's it so like I don't I haven't actually played played the game in a really long time if I remember because it's just not um not really f eh, I don't know like I was talking about earlier the game's kind of going in a direction that I'm not really a fan of both visually and um 
Oh, what am I trying to say? Visually and the the play style that they're kind of pushing out isn't really it's like they're trying to make things really really quick and all kinds of I don't know it's just not for me the game has changed too much and so I've been trying to get away f well trying to get away from it like it's this all-encompassing thing that I have to play every day but um yeah I don't know I just I kind of quit playing it it's kind of died for me as like a game or whatever so I I've been having a lot of fun doing other stuff maybe I will play Elden Ring after this that actually sounds kind of fun I've been enjoying my time playing that game I really have um I still have a lot to do like I think I just got to the second to last area or near like one of the last areas and I haven't picked it up in like a couple of weeks um but that's fine. Like, uh, what in the world? Oh, this, oh, sorry. I'm distracted. Uh, let's cast you, I guess. Ergots. Oh wow, that did like no damage. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> let's just, let's just use this. Cause, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need all the healing that we can get. I really need a haircut. So speaking of this, I went to go schedule my haircut cause I'm like, oh, I'll get it cut this weekend. Blah, 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 blah. No. Uh, sorry, my nose was a T. Um, no, I haven't been able to get it cut. The soonest I would have would be, like, Tuesday. Um, and that's so far away that I'm, like, probably gonna have to wait even longer because I have to work. <laughs> and I, I won't be able to get it cut, so I'm like, shit, I'm gonna have to wait until, like, next weekend or something to get this bitch cut. Cause it's so long, like it's just, it's getting annoying. And it, I have to, I've had to start washing it every day because I noticed it starts to get really greasy. Like when it was shorter, I only had to wash it maybe every other day or something like that. But I've definitely had to start washing it every day. And you're not supposed to do that. That's actually really bad on your hair, but my hair just gets so oily, which is like super, super gross, I know. But, um, it just bothers me because I'll look at it and I'm just like, oh, you're gross. But I also just do that when I look in the mirror, you know. If the mirror doesn't break first. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> oh. I always keep forgetting, though, too. Um, I need to add more, like... I need to add more of these. I only have a couple. I have a bunch of these saved on here though, which I like, but I just need to add more sounds. Like, I have a bunch of ideas. I just need to actually go through and add them onto my, my little thing, whatever, my stream deck. So distracted today. Uh, who? Oh, I don't know who this is. I'm 
so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, I did like no damage to him. Um. God, I have like no attack spells either. Let's drop one of these. Let's use a heal on ourselves. And then we'll just kind of pass around. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for like decent attack spells so I can actually do something. Oh, I just got a Snapchat from my husband. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Oops, shit, I can't spell. I don't know. Oh, well, that's not who I Snapchatted, but cool. Um, ooh, I do have that spell. Let's just keep. Let's just keep throwing shit at this guy. There we go. I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have anything else to kill him with. Um, He's Storm, so he's going to resist this. But, like, again, what else am I going to throw at him? I should uh, think about what I want to build in The Sims tomorrow. Like I've, I have um, this thing where I'm going through and I'm trying to rebuild like as much as I possibly can. Cause like a lot of this stuff that's already there is not great. And so I want to go through and rebuild and remodel and create new and all that stuff. And so I've been trying to, oh, did it fizzle? I think it did. I've been trying to do a lot of that stuff a lot lately. Oh, come on, fuck off. God, it's like almost as bad as, uh... oh, come on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this fight, shit. I've been trying to get through, um... it's almost as bad as trying to get through, uh, what's that one world? Dragon Spire, like every single fight, they would cast a weakness and reduce your damage by 25%. And like, I wish they would remove that from like 50% of the roster because it just makes it take so much longer. Unnecessarily longer too. It's not like it's like, oh, this is an interesting mechanic or something like, no, no, no. It just makes it take longer for no reason. Yeah, I don't care about this game. Sorry. Uh, Steam keeps trying to recommend me a bunch of games, and I'm like, yeah, I don't care about that one. That doesn't fit my style of game that I like to play. Please don't recommend that again. And then they're like, would you like the same game? And I'm like, excuse me? What did I just tell you? Give me free money. That's what I told you. I don't, I don't know. I've been wanting to play, get, get, get. I've been wanting to play some sort of a survival game recently. What the fuck? Free to play? Get out of here. I've been wanting to play some sort of a survival building game and like, Valheim has always looked really fun. I just, I don't know if I want to spend the money on that right now or anytime soon. Um, if it was on sale, I would definitely consider it. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with The Sims, but that's not so much a survival game as much it, as you might say it's just um, a game. Oh, he put a thing on him. Shit. But no, Valheim has always looked really interesting. Um, I guess there's a lot of games that are on sale right now. Not a... Oh, maybe not. Maybe just a couple. But I always... I like survival games. I like survival building games a lot. Um, 
I think I just need to go through and find one that I'll like or that I want to play. What is with this? Four pack? What do you mean four pack? Oh no. Judgment? No. I like 3D 3D um, survival games though. I can't. I can't. There's only been a couple of games that are 2D that I've ever been able to play. And one of them is Factorio and the other one is Factorio and Prison Architect. There we go. I really like Prison Architect. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, but I haven't really been able to handle any other. <laughs> what the fuck? The fucking. Oh, my God. Um, I guess let's just throw about a bunch of blades. Like, there's really nothing else for me to do. Outer verse. What is this? This looks like Minecraft. Yeah, that looks like Minecraft. <laughs> that just looks like a weird Minecraft ripoff. I just like any game, though, that can really allow me to build and create. And so, like, this is not to say any negative thing about Elden Ring. I actually really, really, really like that game. I want somebody to have everything that that game has, as well as adding in the some sort of a building system, if that makes sense, or something like that. Like, some sort of survival building and kind of really lay into the um crafting a bit more in resource collection and i think that would be the perfect game for me personally because th that's the style of games that i really enjoy um i'm just gonna throw another absorb on i really don't know what else to do what is this that doesn't no I'm like going through the steam now. I'm like, what's this? And ooh, what's on here? Control bracer. So weird. Lens Island. Oh, this looks pretty. Oh no, it's like 2D, but like 3D. Oh, that's weird. I don't like those games either. I want a game that allows me to actually see what the fuck I'm doing. That's why I like 3D games. Um, I don't know. I've had this weird... Missed survival? I've had this weird need from to play Minecraft again. I just don't know if I can. Like, uh, the 1710 version of it that I have. And what I mean by that is because I did get pretty far but I feel like I got too far like I got so far in regular Minecraft that or like um I I didn't I don't really know where to go <laughs> I don't really know where else to go because of it and so I'm kind of just stuck in this weird place of like well now what do I do you know, because I can kill a wither and not have to worry about dying. Am I going to run out of cards? Uh, Let's do that, I guess. I don't... Am I really out of cards? I think I am. Oh, see, this is another, like, weird Minecraft ripoff. The dark wild. Whoa. There's a lot of weird looking games on Steam under Survival Craft Mechanica. Oh, you know what's a game that I've I've thought about getting was um Gas <laughs> Gas Damon Gas Station Simulator. Uh just because it looks really funny. 
Like, I don't know how else to explain it. It just, it looks so stupid, but so funny at the same time. Oh, this thing really is not going to attack at all, is it? I just have nothing but healing spells left. I should have thrown in more attack spells, but I guess I just didn't anticipate all of these absorbs. Yeah, that thing has two absorbs on it now. Did that spell really fizzle? Maybe I should use that on the other guy if it comes back around. Uh, let's throw that. Oh, she's finally attacking. Finally. I think I just need to keep surviving long enough. I'm going to run out of mana soon. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got like a couple more fights in me. Shit, by the time this fucker's over, I'm not even going to have any more fights. Ooh. Ooh, we just have this guy left. <gasps> Attack. I just have to survive. That's all. We just have to get rid of those absorbs and survive. Wow, he actually ate through that? What the hell? Oh, I mean, it probably didn't have much left on it anyway. I don't think this is going to do any damage. I don't remember, though, if those... Because I know that's going to get shot by the absorb. But I don't remember if damage over time ignores absorb or not. I don't think so, but I feel like I thought it did at one time. I honestly can't remember. Oh wow, that didn't even break the absorb. Oh, he's got two. I guess that does, yeah. Um, let's just do, let's just do that. Let's just get rid of this one. I'm going to have to rely on my minion to um, kill this guy for me because I have no attack spells left. This dude has 26 health. <gasps> there it went. We finally got through. Holy shit. That took so long. Man, life wizards. Rough. Okay, let's go back to you. Did he respawn? What the hell? All right, let's go talk to you. Weird ghost dude. You've done well, but your trial is over. Krakow. I am sorry for the task ahead. I pity the fool who would dare to enter Karanan Palace. But it's a dungeon, man. It's a hard dungeon, man. Entrance to the barracks. Um, where? Oh, we need to go to yellow. Right, and then he's supposed to be like right over here. Oh, yep, yep. All right, cool. Um, I think I am going to call it. Um, today I've been have. I've had a great time. I think there's just a lot of other stuff that I need to get done um, off stream, you know, personal, personal stuff, work on adding some stuff to uh, stream deck, working on stuff, maybe even editing all that fun things, but whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, I had a great time. Thanks for everybody who stopped by and everybody who followed. Um, getting so much closer to that sweet 550 followers. So thanks. <laughs> but no um i had a great time i'll be back tomorrow morning hopefully barring any complications or issues so i will see you all then mm -hmm.